divine truths frequently ask questions. Jesus, Mary and others provide answers to questions that are frequently asked by members of the media and public. The subject of this session is spirits. This is session two. How common is it for spirits to influence people on earth, either positively or negatively? Well, uh, from our previous discussions about spirits, if people have been listening to all the FAQs, um, they'd realise that it's very, very common. <laughs> the reality is that every single person on this planet has at least three people influencing them constantly. And when I say at least three, that is often a minimum. I've met some people who have 500. Mm. I've met some people who do hypnotism, for example, who have thousands around them influencing them constantly. I have met uh, some people who are in certain spiritual circles having hundreds of spirits influencing them constantly, often in a very negative direction. Mm. That being said, there's also many millions of spirits who are trying to influence people positively. Mm -hmm. So all of us have some spirits with us who are trying to influence us positively. In fact, we usually have two spirits or one spirit who takes two roles and they are trying to influence us positively. And that's the role of being our guardian who's trying to protect our life, trying to um, basically help us live as long as possible on Earth so that we can learn as much things that we need to learn on Earth before we pass into the spirit world. And our guardian has that role of trying to protect us, basically, from ourselves most of the time, <laughs> but also from influences that are around us that are negative. And our guide, and often it's the same person, our guardian and our guide, our guide is trying to help us if we have any spiritual development. So our guide is trying to help us develop the senses of our spirit body. Mm. So he, he, he or she is trying to help us to be conscious or aware that there is more than just the physical mm -hmm. and uh, trying to help us to come to terms with what we, how, how we could develop the things that are more than just physical. And many of them, of course, don't have a full amount of knowledge themselves so they don't know about the soul. Many of the guides and guardians don't know about the soul. But once we have a development or desire to have a development of our soul in a pure way, then we actually attract a guide or guardian who does have knowledge about the soul. So we can even develop the senses that are even more uh, larger and more expressive than the spirit body senses. Mm -hmm. So these are, are the positive influences around us. So most people have at least one or two of those spirits with them. Most of the time, many of them can't hear them at all <laughs> or very rarely respond to them because of the use of their will. And then we have a whole groups of spirits who want to influence us negatively, depending mm -hmm. upon the addictions that we have. And so many people have spirits physically attached to their body, harming parts of their body, causing diseases in their body, for example. Many spirits have spirits trying to motivate them to push them into doing things. Some spirits around them trying to f make them feel afraid. Some spirits around them trying to make them feel angry. And in, in any one day, uh, there, are, there are many, many spirits influencing and, and having an effect on the choices and decisions we make in our life. When you think about it, though, that's exactly the same as life on Earth, isn't it? In any one day... We have people trying to influence us positively and people trying to influence us negatively that we can see. <laughs> uh, goodness me, in, <laughs> so, one, in one hour watching a TV program, how many times do we see an ad? Exactly. That's someone trying to influence, trying to influence us, us, isn't it? So, so these kind of influences are normal. Yeah. Like The problem is that, that most of us, when we start talking about spirit influences, we start seeing them as abnormal. But mm -hmm. I don't see any difference. There's no difference between... Me getting influenced by you or Lena and Igor who are behind the cameras or anyone else, uh, you know, that I can physically see than there is between, by me getting influenced by somebody that I cannot physically see. They are all influences upon me mm -hmm. and some of those influences are good and some of the influences are bad and some of them are in between that, you know, mm -hmm. like in this grey area of life where we get our addictions met and we think we're happy when we're not. And... That is normal part of life. We're not going to avoid that. And even when you are completely alone, 
if you're, what do they call a person who wants to be completely enlightened? A hermit. A hermit. Yeah. <laughs> when we're a hermit, we're still being influenced heavily by spirits. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, you know, it's impossible on this planet to be completely alone. That's the reality. So when the, the question was how common is it, you're saying it, it's, it's, it's globalised. It's normal. It's, it's, it's there's not, no exception. There's no exception. Yeah. yeah. And it doesn't matter who we are, we're getting influenced by someone. And, you know, if we're in a very good condition of love and we have a deep desire to love and we have, you know, and we're driven by our desire for God and love, then we'll be influenced by a lot of positive people probably. And if we are bigoted in any way, if we're negative in any way, then we will be influenced by a group of people who are bigoted and negative in that direction. Mm -hmm. So, so for example, if we're a Christian who, who greatly believes in the Bible, we're going to be influenced by a group of spirits who believe in the Bible. If we're a Muslim who believes in the Quran, then we'll be um, influenced by a group of spirits who are Muslims that are in, that are believing in the Quran and so forth. And these, uh, this is the power of our belief systems. What we need to do if we're ever going to progress in love is we need to see when we're out of harmony with love. Because remember, once we pass over into the spirit world ourselves, it's how we acted in harmony with God's definition of love that will determine where we arrive. Mm -hmm. So if we want to arrive in a good condition in the spirit world, it's not our own determination where we're going to arrive, with the exception that if we practice love from God's perspective, not from our own, that, that means we will arrive in a good condition. If we practice love from our own perspective, but it's not God's, then we'll arrive in the, in the condition that's, that, that matches. The, uh, the, the location will match our condition. So, for example, if we're a Christian or a Muslim who's engaged in a war, we haven't been very loving. Mm -hmm. Even if the war was religiously justified, it's still not love. And we will arrive in the condition of a murderer in the spirit world. And, and we might want to get out of it once we've arrived there. And fair enough, we will probably be helped to get out of it. But that's where we will arrive. It doesn't matter what we believed. If we killed somebody through the process and we did so on purpose, but even though we justified it through our religious faith, we will still arrive in the same condition. And this is the beauty of what God has done too. It's not our own definition of love as to where we will arrive. Mm -hmm. It's God's definition of love as to where we will arrive. So in terms of the influence, all of us are under this influence every single day. The influence is positive and negative, And how we choose to act in harmony with love will determine where we end up. Mm. And it's really that simple. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm.